My message is to never quit, never give up. When you have a little trouble here and there, just keep fighting. In the end, it will pay off. My mom says I'm a fighter, a fierce competitor, and I think I am, too. Gold medals are made out of sweat, blood and tears and effort in the gym every day. You know, God has a plan for me, and I'm going to follow in his footsteps and just rejoice and be happy. If you push through the hard days you can get through anything. Sacrifices are not in vain, at the end, everything will pay off. If we set our minds, we can achieve anything. Always be courageous and strong, and don't fear. You've got to be confident when you're competing, you've got to be a beast. Believe, don't fear, believe. I've learned how to stay humble. I don't want to get in over my head because when you do that it takes you off your game. To win Olympic gold it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of passion, a lot of sacrifices. You want to picture yourself being on top and doing amazing gymnastics. The hard work definitely paid off and hard work always does. I accomplished something big and that's a memory I will never forget. It's kind of a win-win situation. The glory goes up to him and the blessings fall down on me. You need your mom and dad to protect you. It means they love you so much. It was awesome she was backing me up and defending me. Don't be shy. Go for it and ask your crush out. Everyone was telling me you have this great potential and you can be on top. I didn't believe that, but everyone was just telling me to believe in myself. I did and I'm kind of up on top and it's amazing. I would love to be remembered as someone who inspired young girls never to give up on their dreams. I just spent my whole life training and focused on one thing, I really don't even think about after the fact, it's like, oh yeah, I have to do something after. Gymnastics does take great focus and concentration. What I do is look to my coach. He keeps me focused, and I meditate to get myself confident before the competition floor. That helps keep me focused, too. I give myself a pep talk and visualize the routine. I tell myself, I can do this, let's go. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things he does for me. Sometimes I like to watch videos of myself and see how confident I was. Never give up and always keep fighting, because though times may be tough, the sacrifices do pay off, so just keep pushing towards your dream and just love it at the same time and enjoy it. Gabrielle Christina Victoria Douglas born December 31, 1995 in Newport News, Virginia and grew up in nearby Virginia Beach, to parents Timothy Douglas and Natalie Hawkins Douglas. She has two older sisters, Arielle and Joyelle, and one older brother, Jonathan. She began training in gymnastics at age six when her sister convinced their mother to enroll her in classes. In October 2002, she began her training at Gymstrada. At the age of eight, Douglas won the Level 4 All-Around Gymnastics title at the 2004 Virginia State Championships. Douglas is an American artistic gymnast. She is the 2012 Olympic All-Around Champion and the 2015 World All-Around Silver Medalist. She was a member of the gold-winning teams at both the 2012 and the 2016 Summer Olympics, 
dubbed the Fierce Five and the Final Five by the media, respectively. She was also a member of the gold-winning American teams at the 2011 and the 2015 World Championships. Douglas is the first African American to become the Olympic individual all-around champion, and the first U.S. gymnast to win gold in both the individual all-around and team competitions at the same Olympics. She was also the 2016 AT&T American Cup all-around champion. As a public figure, Douglas's gymnastics successes have led to her life story. Adaptation in the 2014 Lifetime biopic film, The Gabby Douglas Story, as well as the acquisition of her own reality television series, Douglas Family Gold. Douglas has also written a book about her life and what it takes to be an Olympic gold medalist by determination and perseverance. As of July 2023, Douglas is training at WOGA with the goal of making the Paris 2024 Olympic team.